16 young talents from 11 different nations. The Audi TT Cup in its second season. The Young Racing Series, an attractive entry into the world of motorsports. Der Audi Sport TT Cup ist ja der Einstiegsprogramm in die Audi Motorsport Welt. Ja, und darüber kommt dann der GT Sport, DTM und WC. Und wir bieten da natürlich den, in erster Linie jungen Talenten hat die Chance in, diese, in diesen Einstieg in diese Motorsport Welt und das über den Weg von Audi im Rahmen der DTM und zum Beispiel im Rahmen der 24 Stunden vom Nürburgring, wo wir auch einen Gaststart oder ein Gastevent haben. Starting at the Hockenheim Ring, the young drivers fight against each other in 14 races for every inch. This year, 10 rookies in the driver's lineup of 16 pilots will participate for the first time in the Audi TT Cup. They're all world-class drivers, so essentially you need to really be prepared well for the weekend. And uh, yeah, I've done that. I've really done good preparation for this weekend, so I feel ready for it. And uh, obviously with all the cars being the same, we have equal opportunity. So it's, it's really down to the driver, yeah. Ambitious and driven by the irrepressible will to improve their abilities to the limit. All opponents in sight and always having the championship in mind. The special is that it's one makeup, so we're driving basically the same cars with the same horsepower, the same setup, which help us to improve our skills. And yeah, the fact that top 10 or top 15 drivers, the qualifying are driving in one second, this is something amazing. And that shows how competitive Audi Sport TT Cup is. Audi Sport TT Cup, the second take. The young guns ready for takeoff, to give everything, to be at the top. The big dream to participate in the GT program of the brand with the four rings. And on the grid ahead of the start of race one for season 2016 in the Audi Sport TT Cup. The weather is glorious, track conditions perfect and a big crowd to enjoy the racing from the Audi Sport TT Cup. Pole position is a returnee to the series, Dennis Marshall, into his second season in the Audi Sport TT Cup, and therefore all the experience Dennis has of this Hockenheim ring circuit surely will be of some benefit come race number one. Alongside Dennis on the grid, though, it's car number 31, Sheldon van der Linde. The surname may sound familiar. Kelvin, of course, his brother, very successful in the VW Sirocco R Cup, the pre-runner to the Audi Sport TT Cup. Kelvin himself, a very successful GT racer, in fact was ADAC GT Masters champion alongside the racing driver Rennie Rast, who too made his way up through these junior programs. So it's down to Sheldon van der Linde to uphold that family name in the Audi Sport TT Cup, and that is a name to keep an eye on. Eunice Lapalainen is another one of the returnees to the Audi Sport TT Cup, had moments of absolute brilliance during season 2015 and must start as potentially one of the favourites to lift the championship when we return to Hockenheim right at the very end of the season. It's this track and the Nürburgring that the Audi Sport TT Cup visits twice during the course of the season. In fact, the next venue on the agenda is on the support package for the prestigious Nürburgring 24-hour race towards the end of the month. So the starting grid, Marshall and van der Linde then on the front row with Lapalainen and Hofbauer going from row two. Then we see Kegel, Nielsen, Exgard, Mikkelsen, Redest, and then Hofer rounding out the front five rows of the grid. Lights are out and we are away racing. Race number one, Dennis Marshall with a good start, also a good start from Sheldon van der Linde, and Eunice Lapalainen as well, and one to keep an eye of in the green car is Christoph Hofbauer, who should slot the car probably into P4. Eunice Lapalainen running very wide on the exit of turn number one as they approach turn two, and the very long Parabolica is on its way, which will be the first opportunity for these cars to use the 30 horsepower push to pass facility, which is available to all of them. Of course, you can push to pass, you can also push to defend, and that's what some of them will be doing. The all red and black machines you may notice here are all driven by guest drivers in the Audi Sport TT Cup. It's a feature of every round and we'll give you details of those drivers that are in those cars in just moments from now as we head up towards the hairpin though, which is a real pinch point, but it's also a great opportunity for overtaking Sheldon van der Linde on the outside of Dennis Marshall. Is he going to get the cut back and go through the inside? Not quite close enough to be able to do it. One or two cars are running wide 
as is always the case at the uh, hairpin and one of the guest drivers getting the uh, back end whale tailing uh, through that hairpin. So a commanding lead for Dennis Marshall at the moment. Sheldon van der Linde is really having to defend from Eunice Lapalainen. Lapalainen having to do the same with uh, Christoph Hofbauer. There is the order on screen for you. Marshall van der Linde, Lapalainen, Hofbauer. Cars carry so much speed through the turns here at uh, Hockenheim and now Sheldon van der Linde beginning to take the race to our race leader Dennis Marshall. Let's keep our eyes on this as once again they start the Parabolica but before we do let's go back to a replay of the start. It was a blisterer from Dennis Marshall who managed to uh, get his car exactly where he wanted it to. Now Eunice Lapalainen diving down the outside trying to uh, just put his car into that P2 position and uh, push back uh, Sheldon van der Linde. In the end it didn't work he was running around the outside. There is one of our guest racers, Scott Speed, the USA racer, who uh, won the Global Rallycross Championship in a Beetle last year and, of course, has raced Formula One. And number one on track at the moment is Sheldon van der Linde, who has managed to find a way past Dennis Marshall and he's up the road like never before, as you can see. It's Dennis Marshall now in P2, Eunice Lapaline in P3, but here is the race leader going through the hairpin, Sheldon van der Linde, who has managed to get past Dennis Marshall, so the order right at the very front has changed. That's Josh Cagle being chased by Niklas Nielsen. Niklas Nielsen looking very, very lively indeed. Now you can see the LED flashing in the rear quarter. That means that the push to pass is being used by uh, Josh Josh Cagle, and we have dramas at the hairpin as well. I think that involves Pavel Lefterov and also uh, Philip Ellis, the Bulgarian driver and the UK driver, Philip Ellis. Josh Cagle that we were just talking about, also one of those uh, UK drivers, in fact, a former motorcycle racer. So Marshall's down on the track to clear the debris and also make sure that Pavel Lefterov is all okay in that car. Here we can see in replay then, it's uh, Patrick Eggsgaard then on the inside of uh, Philip Ellis. And then into Philip Ellis goes uh, Pavel Lefterov. Now, remarkably, and uh, some testament to the strength of these Audi Sport TT Cup cars, Philip Ellis is able to drive away from that. Pavel Lefterov, sadly, not able to. Unfortunately, I crashed because uh, we were too close and uh, the gap was not enough, so I did not manage to stop really and hit the car in front of me. So um, the car was uh, really damaged and I did not manage to continue the race and to finish. Well, the car was so damaged that the safety car had to be deployed to enable the car to be recovered. So uh, good to hear from Pavel Lefterov and good to know that he's all OK. Now, very interestingly, in a completely separate incident to this one, which is the Pavel Lefterov car, which has got to be recovered, uh, there was another crash, but the crash was during the safety car and involved these two drivers, Yves Meyer and Patrick Eggsgaard who decide to have a conversation about the incident. Let's find out a bit more from Yves now. It was not a normal rennunfall, but under safety car. Well, it certainly wasn't a usual race incident as it happened during the safety car. It is very unlucky to cause like that. The safety car turned off the lights and therefore the race was on again. I had a little gap to the front and then everybody was stepping on their brakes, like you know it from a uh, traffic jam. The driver in front of me was on the right and suddenly turned to the left and then it was just too late for me. Well, the safety car will lead the cars away and the race will resume, but as you can see from the clock now at the uh, top of your picture, the, there's going to be very little racing time left. So the race curtailed somewhat by that uh, safety car incident for uh, the recovery of the Pavel Lefterov car and then the other incident that occurred during the safety car. Well, is it going to be win number one for Sheldon van der Linde? Of course, all the advantage that he had, he's now neutralised because Dennis Marshall will uh, sense the opportunity now to try and wrestle that P1 position back again from Sheldon van der Linde. Well, let's see, Sheldon van der Linde does it all really well and uh, he leads from Dennis Marshall, then it's Eunice Lapalainen. and those three are breaking away a bit from uh, Christoph Hofbauer. Then we see Josh Cagill, good running from uh, Josh Cagill, who was running in P5. Uh, only a couple of minutes left of this race and there you can see really how those three are breaking away from the number seven car of Christoph Hofbauer at the moment. 
Another one of the guest drivers is uh, that of Andreas Mikkelsen, driving car number 96, which we will see in shot now. There it is, the uh, VW factory FIA WRC driver. The guests will be a regular feature on the Audi Sport TT Cup, and I wonder if this is going to become a regular feature as well. And that is Sheldon van der Linde winning a race. It's race one in season 2016, going the way of the South African. Sheldon van der Linde is going to take the chequered flag. Now he takes P1 from Dennis Marshall, P2. Then it's Eunice Lapalone and P3. Christoph Hofbauer takes P4. Then it's Josh Cagill. Good run from Josh Cagill. Also from uh, Garcia Redest. And the best of the guests is Scott Speed, who takes P7. So then here is the uh, classification in full for you. And... Uh, as I said, best of the guests, Scott Speed, followed by Andreas Mikkelsen, who takes a P9. But no disputing the winner, Sheldon van der Linde, who looks pretty happy with that win as well. It's Eunice Lapalainen, and you can just see in the background there. But Sheldon van der Linde, and there is Kelvin, his brother, the GT racer, who offers his congratulations to him. And to the right-hand side was his mum, whose name I think is Bernadine. Apologies, Mrs. van der Linde, if I've got that wrong. Drivers' Championship, Sheldon van der Linde, then at the top of the chart with Marshall, Lapalainen, Hofbauer, and Kegel rounding out the top five. Taking P2 in the race and P2 therefore in the championship as well, here's Dennis Marshall. I've mixed feelings about the race, the fact that I started from pole position and was not able to score the win. Sheldon was just too fast, but still, to be second and scoring important points for the championship is great. Next try comes tomorrow. I'm absolutely ecstatic. I can't describe my feelings right now. It's, I had a brilliant start from the beginning and I just put my head down and went. Um, eventually got past Dennis and uh, yeah, from then on I was quite straightforward. Just had to defend my position and uh, yeah, stayed where I was. Great race win from Sheldon van der Linde and good to hear from him and the P2 racer, uh, Dennis Marshall as well. As Sheldon holds the uh, P1 board in front of the car that took him to his first win of the season.